Hey everyone, I am Mithilis and welcome back to Fingmotion. In today's video, I am going to show you another style of map animation that Box uses. Few days ago, I was watching a video on their channel and that map animation really caught my attention. This is very simple, but still it looks very attractive. So I thought I could make a video on that. So without wasting any more time, let's jump to the After Effects and let's get started. Alright, I already created a composition and there are a few assets for the video such as an object, a map, a icon and a, some texture kind of things. First of all, let's bring the map into the timeline. Place the map the way you want. And I am going to highlight this portion of this map. So let's place this map uh, towards the center. Once you're done, take the pan and tool and place the anchor point here. Try to place the anchor point in the center of the point that you want to highlight. It will help us to animate the object properly. Before starting the map animation, make sure you place the map correctly. Just like this. Now on the first frame, add a keyframe on the scale property, then go forward to 2 seconds and change its value to 125. This is a simple zoom in animation. Now let's select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them, then open graph editor and change the curve something like this. By doing this, it will make the animation little bit smoother at the end. Now we are going to create the highlighted point. And for doing that, take the ellipse tool and create a circle just like this. You can change the color to this nice yellow color or you can use any color that you want. Make sure to center the anchor point for the shape layer. You can do it just by holding Ctrl and double click on the pan behind tool. Adjust the shape layer position the way you want. Once you're done, drag the shape layer to the 2 seconds timeline. Then open Opacity property, go to 3 seconds and add a keyframe on Opacity, then come back to 2 seconds and change its value to 0. This will be a simple fade in animation. Now once you're done, get the object to the timeline, adjust the position and scale property of this object. And after that, Set the starting point of this layer from here. Once you're done, take the pen tool and create a shape just like this. Just draw an outline from the right side of your object, just like this. This shape can be different for everyone. I am fast forwarding this process so you guys don't get bored. Once you're done, drag the shape layer from this position only and also create a new null layer. Now place the null layer's anchor point to this point only because we want to animate the shape and the object to the center point of this circle. Now select the object layer and the shape layer and link it with the null layer. Using this null layer, we are going to animate these two objects at the same time. Now you can see it is animating from the center point of the circle and that is what we want. You can set the starting point of the null layer from 3 seconds. Now the steps are very simple, go to 4 seconds and add a keyframe on the scale property, then come back to 3 seconds and change its value to 0. Adjust this layer say a little bit, just like this. Now select the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them, then open graph editor and change the curve something like this. Perfect. You can adjust the timings anytime you want. Alright, now this is the time for the icon animation. So first of all, bring the icon to the timeline. Adjust the size and the position the way you need, just like this. Once you place the icon, then take the paint tool and draw a line like this. Disable the fill color and enable the stroke and you can choose any color you want. On this line, I am going to use simple trim path animation and for doing that, click on this add button and add trim path. Let's place this layer little bit forward on our timeline. Then change the end value to 0 and add a keyframe on the end. Then go forward to few seconds and change its value to 100. As you can see, this is a simple stroke animation using the trim path properties. 
I want this icon to be animated from the behind of the line. For doing that, place the icon just like this. Here you can do one more thing. We can change this stroke cap to the round cap. Once you're done, take the rectangle tool and create a shape like this. I'm going to use this shape to mask out the extra portion of that icon. Uh, let's rename it to the icon mat layer. Also place this layer on top of the icon layer. And here don't forget to turn off the stroke and turn on the fill. Now change the track mat of this icon layer to icon mat layer. By doing this we can see the portion of the icon which is inside the shape only. Now select the icon layer and press B for the position and R for the rotation. Also place this two layer to the same position of the shape 3 layer. Now go to that time frame where line animation ends. And add keyframe on position and rotation. And also change the rotation value something like this because I want the icon to be tilted on the right side at the end. Then come to the first frame of the layer and change the position value something like this. And also change the rotation value towards the left side. Drag these two layers forward to the timeline so that the icon animation should start after the line animation. Perfect. But to make it more dynamic, let's select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them and go to graph editor and change the graph curve something like this. Perfect. Now comes to the last part which is the text animation and for doing that, take the type tool and type any text you want. Adjust the scale and position of the text. Once you're done, change the text layer to a 3D layer. Then select the layer and press A to open the anchor point and change the anchor point position something like this. For this kind of animation, the anchor point should stick to the top of the text layer, just like this. Now fix the position again. Then press R to open the rotation property. Go to almost 4 seconds and add a keyframe on the rotation. Then come back to first frame and change the rotation value something like this. Just make sure to hide the text as much as you can. As you can see, there is still some portion of the text is still visible. And to fix that, just apply simple keyframes for the opacity. Just like this. And it will fix this problem easily. Now select these keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Go to graph editor and change the curve something like this. Here I can show you some trick. If you drag this handle towards the downside, you can see a little bounce on the text. The more you increase the length, the more it will give the bounce effect on the text. Or you can call it a overshoot effect. Alright, our main animation is done. Let's add a solid layer for the background. Choose the color you want. But I'm using the dark grey color. And to stylize this animation, I have a texture layer. And you can just place the texture layer on top of the every layer and just change the blending mode to multiply. Also reduce the opacity to blend it with the background properly. And just like this. And your box style map animation is done. This is all for today. I hope you like the video. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Till then, have fun and stay safe guys. Bye.